This is a market in Russian-occupied Kherson, southern Ukraine. The city fell to Russian forces in early March. This footage, acquired by Al Jazeera, shows how much life has changed since. Much of it was filmed secretly. Russia's invasion has ended access to Ukrainian products and those produced in Russia are expensive and take time to arrive. Much of the vodka and beer is homemade. Russia changed the currency to rubles when its army took control. The Ukrainian Grivna is being phased out. Telephone networks are now Russian. A Russian soldier hands over his Z military badge as a form of ID to a girl selling Russian phone SIM cards. Another soldier looks suspiciously at the camera. These people gather around a private home to use its Wi-Fi connection because internet coverage is hard to find. In the villages around Kherson, life for some is even harder. Only one shop is open. They bring food once or twice a week, mainly bread and grain. But you need cash, and we don't have any because the ATM doesn't work. There is no internet, we can't get in touch with our relatives. We live as if on an uninhabited island. People wait outside the only Ukrainian bank still operating. It doesn't open every day, and Russian banks are yet to arrive. The Russian army is never far away. Large anti-Russian demonstrations rarely happen anymore. Russian forces have used tear gas to break them up in the past. But there is still defiance. An increasingly dangerous and symbolic gesture against Russian occupation is attaching yellow ribbons to things. Ukrainians, Kherson's underground movement continues our fight, says the man, his face and voice heavily disguised. Every day we distribute leaflets and yellow ribbons, we share information with the armed forces of Ukraine about the Russian forces' locations. Friends, we don't know if this video will make it to you, he says, but know that the Kherson underground movement is working and continues to fight. This is a destroyed car belonging to a Ukrainian who was killed when it exploded in a suspected bomb attack after he accepted a job in the Russian administration. No one has claimed responsibility. There have been at least three other attempted murders of Ukrainians suspected of working with Russian occupying forces. Ukrainian military intelligence says it's working to recruit agents and partisans to work inside Russian occupied regions. This website, in Ukrainian and English, was set up by the Ministry of Defense and Ukrainian Special Forces. It gives news of partisan activity and guidance on how people under occupation can resist Russian rule. It's difficult to know how many people support Russia's invasion in the southern Kherson region. Russia says it's planning to hold a referendum in the autumn, something Ukraine, its Western backers and many people living under Russian forces say will be a farce. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, Kyiv.